It is now uh, 617 on this 24th of March. Gorge, you get outside today? Uh, oh. How could I not? How beautiful. Betsy, first of all, thank you. Okay, I don't even want to get to what I did today. Yes, I was outside. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think everybody's pretty happy with this. Did you hear Russ go, whoop? <laughs> <laughs> I looked up, I said, that's that Laura Queso. That's Betsy Klein. That might be my favorite part of the day so far. Whoop. <laughs> I know, I pop up like the groundhog every now and then. Look out. Uh, I'll tell you, it was gorgeous today. Well above average temperatures, bonus degrees all over the place. And as we go through the night, we're going to stay very mild. A great evening to take a nighttime walk uh, with the family. Sometimes it's kind of fun to go out after dark still uh, as the darkness settles in a little early this time of the year. But you can see the temperatures are going to stay in the 60s. We are still sitting in the 70s across Northeast Ohio. Just bonus, right? And then there's this. Okay, so today out comes a high wind watch. And a lot of folks probably don't even know that we have a high wind watch, number one. Number two, there's probably a few folks that saw it and went, a high wind watch, what is that? Well, basically, this is a pretty rare thing for us to get. This is a forecast event that will be coming Thursday night to Friday morning. Winds will pick up big time tomorrow evening, and then tomorrow night, and especially Friday early morning, we will have some high winds. Gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour are likely. Gusts to 60 miles per hour are possible Friday morning. That is power outage level type wind, so be advised if you have an alarm set Friday morning, I would unplug the clock and just rely on your phone alarm if you can or go battery backup because we are going to have some issues. Also, morning school or meetings, if you have Zoom, your internet may be out Friday morning. So plan ahead uh, because that high wind is going to be coming through. It's all coming with our next storm system. We had the rain earlier and the clouds earlier. Our next storm system is sitting down here and watch how this thing ramps up. Doesn't look like a lot right now, but in the next next 48 hours, this thing will really come together. And when you see all these white lines packed together, that those are isobars. That's a sign in your National Design Mart, hour by hour forecast, that we've got that pressure that is just decreasing rapidly. That means the winds will be picking up rapidly too. So here's the forecast winds and gusts. We start at noon tomorrow and note by 9 p.m. It's still pretty calm. Watch what happens tomorrow night. Ah, now the colors start to pop. Early morning, like three, four, five o'clock in the morning, that's when the wind gusts arrive. We're expecting those wind gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour through Friday morning. Finally, by noon, they're out of here. So it looks like things should be recovering very quickly. Tomorrow, we're looking at 70 degrees. Again, calm winds, the rain, and the wind arrives late day. Union Home Mortgage Outlook shows the cool air that's propelling those winds. Uh, as showers linger, we're back to the 60s Saturday, and then showers come our way once again as we get into Sunday. Jimmy has a look at sports coming up.